kitchen. Today I'm going to make a chunky beef and bacon chili um, the way we like it. All right, so these are the things you're going to need. I have about four pounds of ground beef. I have one can of kidney beans, two cans of whole tomatoes, uh, two tomato paste. I have pork and beans. I also have three jalapenos, garlic, peppers, onions, mushrooms. Um, I have taco seasoning, chili seasoning, cumin. We might use the liquid smoke, not sure yet, because we also have the bacon here. Um, this is a smoky bacon. And so let's get started. So we're just gonna put our heat on and we're gonna, bam, plop that meat right in there. Okay, and then we're gonna start with the bacon. The bacon gives it such a nice, nice flavor. Uh, just kind of pumps it up a notch, you know, if you've never done that before. So we'll just start throwing it in. We're gonna cut it into strips just like this, okay? There we go. I usually do it when it's cold. When it's warm, it's a little bit harder to cut, but I can, I can manage, right? Okay, I am so close to 600 subs. Who wants to be my 600th sub? I know you guys are all watching. So click that sub button. And uh, woo, I'll throw that one in the sink. There we go, throw the bacon in. Okay, and we're just gonna cook that up real quick. We'll just give it a quick stir while it's heating up. And then we're gonna work on the onions because we're gonna throw the onions in with the meat and cook up that. So we're just gonna take our onions, try and do this quickly because uh, you guys don't wanna have a 10 minute video. Okay, I got Max here with me, he's playing hooky today. Right, Max? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think it's okay every once in a while to give your kids a mental health day. Uh, they don't have to be sick. Sometimes they're just, what, worn out, would you say? Yes. A little worn out. My mom would never, ever do that. We didn't miss school, ever. Like, if you were sick, you had to be on your deathbed. But uh, I'm a little bit more lenient with the boys. And then, you know what, I can be, because they have amazing grades. Max, you're what, in the 90th percentile? So I can't complain. He needs a day off, he's gonna get a day off. I'm very chatty today, eh? <laughs> I'm just keeping it busy. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna do the second one just the same. Okay, we want things a little bit on the chunky side. There we go, flip it over, give it a cut. I'm gonna do that with this one. Oh my God, my eyes are burning. Oh, this sucks. Ow. Okay, we'll throw that into the pot. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to take a minute and uh, let my eyes stop burning, and I'll come right okay, back. Okay, I've got my two cloves of garlic chopped and my jalapenos chopped. We like heat, so we don't get rid of the seeds because that's where all the heat is. So I just like to chop them up, and we're going to throw them right into the pot and just let it get nice and you know, spicy, right? We like spicy. All right, now we're gonna throw that into the meat. There we go. And then we're gonna open up this one. There's no shame, no shame in using these packs. We're just gonna pop that right in there. Okay, and then with the cumin, I'm gonna use about a tablespoon and a half. There we go, of cumin. And then the Clubhouse Taco Seasoning, love it. It's fantastic. So I'm gonna use one, two, three big spoonfuls, okay? If you like a little bit more spice, put more in there. It's all what your taste buds tell you. I'm just gonna give that a quick stir up so you can see how it's starting to look. Okay, it smells wonderful. I already have my vegetables chopped. Okay, now with the canned tomatoes, we're not gonna get rid of the juice. We're gonna keep the juice, but I like big chunks. So I just take the tomato like that and I break it in half with my hands because I just, I like big chunks, right? I like chunky things, chunky men, chunky food. <laughs> Anywho, so I'll just dump that in and give it a quick squish with my hand. There we go. Dump in the second one. I turned the heat up just a little bit. Split that one in half. Okay. Beauty. 
All right, now we're gonna add our vegetables. We got our mushrooms and peppers already. And I'm just gonna pop those right into the pot. And then I have my beans and pork. And we're gonna throw those right in there. You're not gonna need to add any liquid because the mushrooms will actually uh, create a lot of uh, liquid in the pot. Okay, we're gonna add that one. And we're gonna add this one. There we go, it's such an easy, quick meal to make, but it tastes awesome. And then I have my red kidney beans and you have to rinse them out of the can before you use them, okay? So they've been rinsed. And we're gonna throw those in there. Okay, and then our tomato paste. We're gonna use two small cans. All right, and then we're gonna stir this all up and we're gonna turn the heat down and we're gonna let it simmer for a few hours. Just come back and make sure you stir it because it will stick to the bottom if you're not careful. And if you wanna add a little bit more flavor and seasoning, go ahead, okay, no problem. And uh, let me get this in there. There we go, boom. Give it a quick stir. There we go. You can get all that meat and bacon mixed in and jalapenos. It's nice and thick right now, but like I said, it's gonna get really juicy. All right, and now we're gonna turn the heat down and let it okay, simmer. Okay, so the chili's been simmering for an hour and a half and it's ready. So we're just going to take a big, take a look at it. Doesn't that look large? Nice and thick, lots of spice. And there we have it. How's that? So don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and uh, thank you for watching.